Lapidary is kind of the, um, I don't want to say science, but kind of the art form of taking stones and turning it into finished pieces meant for you know, display or wear. Um, lapidary is also just the kind of enjoyment of natural specimens that come out of um, various locations in America and across the world. In 1968, the club was founded actually in Parma. Um, we've moved a couple times since then. Now we're here um, on West 110th. You can come in whenever you want during our open hours and we will show you, provide a stone and you could walk out in only a couple hours with all the skill you need and a shiny stone in your pocket. We do all kinds of different um, artistic uh, works. We make cabochons, we do faceted gemstones, we do silversmithing, wire wrapping, um, educational classes on minerals and, and different things you can find in Ohio and around the United States and even around the world. Or Ohio's really well known for its flint, so you can definitely find some gorgeous pieces of flint in Ohio. When you come in, the first thing you're going to see is our main cabochon room. There's all kinds of grinders and machines in there in order to take a rough stone and turn it into the polished um, jewelry grade stone that you see in stores and things like that. So people will actually take raw silver and turn it into either wire wrap pieces or actually complete uh, molded and um, shaped silver pieces, silver rings, uh, pendants, amulets. Um, earrings, basically you name it, if it can be made out of silver, it can be made in there. In the glass room we have people who will actually take uh, raw glass and actually heat it and mold it and shape it into um, objects and, and jewelry and pendants and things like that. Um, and then right next to that is the facet machines where people will take raw gemstones, things like um, sapphire, or emerald or ruby, and cut it into the you know kind of stereotypical faceted stones you see in pieces in every jewelry store in, across America. I collected a bunch of rocks in the Upper Peninsula of Michigan and then I wound up buying some more rocks on the internet to tumble and they wound up being too large to fit in my tumbler and I googled where a lapidary club where I could slice the rocks and then next thing I know they're like you don't want to tumble these you want to turn these into cabochons and then next thing I know I became a member. Um, a lot of it's all personal stuff people will use it in their own jewelry they'll use it in their own materials uh, one of the things I'm working for is actually replacing my wife's center stone for her wedding ring. Um, it's taking me a long time to cut it, but it, it'll be beautiful when it's done. Everyone will have a rock in their pocket or somewhere on their person, whether it's a belt buckle or a pendant or a bolo tie that they produce themselves and they're always very proud to show it off. Uh, for me, I'm a huge fan of gemstones and faceted gemstones and things like that. Uh, and I really wanted to learn how they were made. I really wanted to learn uh, where all of the processes come in. And this was kind of the best place to learn. I think it's a, a really a mixed bag with who practices what. A lot of men seem to be more, they like grinding the stones and forging beautiful things out of rough. And then a lot of the women, they enjoy taking those polished stones and you know, wire wrapping, but we have, it's a mixed bag with everything. Everyone enjoys everything, I think.